Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well. Today is such an exciting day for me because for the first time ever on my channel, I am sharing with y'all a hair tutorial. And I have the great honor of doing this in partnership with IGK and Sephora. So without further ado, if you wanna learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm taking the IGK Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray and spritzing this through our model's wet hair as the very first step. This is going to gently detangle the hair. It's going to control the frizz and protect it against heat. I love a good detangling spray. It's the first product I use on myself right out the shower and the first product I use on a client if the hair is wet and I'm blowing it out. So as you see, I'm brushing the product through the hair, starting from the ends and working my way up towards the root. Once I have our hair brushed through, I'm reaching for this IGK Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Blowout Balm and applying a quarter size amount into the palm of my hands before working this into the hair. You'll notice that I start with applying this, you know, more so towards the middle and ends of the hair before I use what's left in my hands to bring up to the roots. And I'm almost kind of massaging this in as well. I want to get the hair well saturated with this product and then I'll go in with a hair dryer, which is where the magic happens because this product is a heat activated formula you saw there a second ago when i applied it to my hands it's like a um, like a thick cream formula but melts into the hair with blow drying which is why i like this product it hydrates the hair giving it long lasting shine and sleekness but without weighing down the hair you know what i mean by the way here as you see I, i'm just rough drying the hair before i take a round brush and start brushing it out in sections i like to get the hair a about 80% dry. For me personally, it just speeds up the process and I just find it easier. Once I do have it about 80% dry, I'm going to start sectioning the hair, beginning with the nape of the neck and then reach for this IGK Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray to spray onto the section before blowing it out with the round brush. Now, a couple different things going on here. First, you'll notice that I'm keeping the nozzle of the hair dryer quite close to the hair on the brush and keeping the hair taut. Then I'll take that hair, wrap it around the brush, and roll it up all the way to the scalp before using the blow dryer to heat this hair in this position. I spend a few seconds running it back and forth, back and forth, and then I hold down the cool shot button on the hair dryer to set the hair around the brush into place. And I find it kind of you know helps seal the cuticle, resulting in a shiny, glossy finish, which is exactly how this turns out. Doesn't that look really beautiful? It looks healthy, it has shine, it's super smooth, and there's no frizz to be found. At this point, it's step and repeat. Section the hair, spray the product on, blow it out, set it with a cool shot, and bam, next section. Now you can section the hair how you'd like. Our model today though, Christina, has a like a natural wave pattern to her hair, but not a whole lot. So that's why I'm taking bigger sections here. If you have curlier hair, I find it better to take smaller sections so you can really get in there at the root and smooth it out. But mind you, this is also why I like to rough dry the hair beforehand. It speeds up the process. I think we can all relate when I say hair drying can be exhausting, right? When I style the hair on my models, when I shoot my makeup tutorials, I like quick and easy, and that's why I put a lot of emphasis on these IGK products I'm using. They make it quick and easy for me. And most importantly, they're effective. They help me cut down on blow drying time. They're safe to use on hair that's been colored. They keep the hair frizz free, even in humidity, and they protect the hair from the heat. That's a must for me. There needs to be heat protection always when putting heat on the hair. That's something I learned throughout my career, just being on so many different shoots and being on set around all of these insanely talented celebrity hairstylists. While I would be doing the makeup, it would be so fascinating to me just to observe their work and learn from their techniques and see the products they're using and how they're using them. And one of the things I always found to be consistent amongst the different hairstylists I've worked with is that protecting the hair is key. By the way, real quick, can we take a second to observe how soft and smooth the right side of our hair is looking? Like, wow. 
<laughs> Anyways, so as I was saying, what I learned earlier on was that it's not always so much about the product you put in after you style the hair, but it's about what you put in it beforehand to prep it and protect it for the styling. In fact, you'll notice today that besides using a bit of dry shampoo later on, I won't be using any other product in our hair. I'm going for a really soft, polished, lightweight finish. I don't want it to feel weighed down by product and I want it to last. That's another thing too. How is the hair gonna last? How is it gonna hold up in different situations? Sure, it can look great right when you leave a salon after having it professionally done or a, um, a product can look enticing to buy when we see it used on a model and a commercial. Trust me, I, I've, I've been there. I've done that I bought stuff that looked like it worked but turned out nothing like it had on the model in the photo and that's probably because there's a team of people on those commercial shoots making sure every little strand of hair is perfect but in reality unless you have someone following you around with a brush all day it's not going to look like it had in the advertisement so I say all that to say, I'll be sure to show you at the end how the hair moves. I mean, if I'm gonna talk about products that prevent frizz, I'm gonna put it to the test and show you how it does in real life scenarios, like running her hands through her hair and wind. Y'all know I love my wind in the after shots. I, I, <laughs> I have the model feeling like they're Beyonce for a minute with that wind machine, so. I'm gonna show it all to you, but as of right now, as you see here, I'm working with the last section, starting from the crown, and I'll work my way up to the last section at the front of the hairline. I've started to use these little hair clips to hold these curls up into place. It'll give a really similar effect to that of using the cool shot button, but with even longer lasting results, because I'm gonna leave the hair like this to set while I do her makeup. And once I'm done with her makeup and take these down, it'll have a really soft curl to them that'll give the most beautiful, subtle bend to the hair once you brush it all out. Now, while I do take larger sections at the bottom of the hair for this hairstyle, I'm a little more precise with the top half of the hair because this is where I really wanna make sure everything is super smooth. I do want some volume up here as well, which we'll also get as a result of pinning these curls up. If you want a lot, a lot of volume though, you'll wanna take your two inch sections and blow dry them while overextending them forward and backward, while also keeping the roots taut for that extra lift. But look at me, just really getting in there with this front piece, really taking my time with this because later on, once I brush out the hair, you'll see how this front section lifts up and just you know frames her face. This is my favorite part to blow dry because it really is the cherry on top of the sundae for this look and ties it all together. So heading back to the bottom portion of the hair, I'm taking large sections and curling it before pinning it up to set. The curler I'm using here is the Bioionic one and a quarter inch long barrel curling iron. I use this more than any other one I have. I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for a new curling iron, this is worth checking out. I'll link it down below along with everything else I'm using today. In fact, Sephora actually sells this one I'm using. If you've been looking to get it, now more than ever would be the perfect time since Sephora has their spring savings event going on. It's up until April 14th, but regardless of the curling iron you choose to use for this, I don't like to go in with too much heat and also for not too long. The higher the heat and the longer you heat the hair for and the smaller the section, the stronger and tighter of a curl you're gonna get. I'm not looking for a strong curl today, just a little something something to give the hair a little extra bend for when we brush it all out in just a second. So I'm gonna leave these curls pinned up to set. I'm gonna do her makeup, which I posted it in another tutorial that I'll link down below if you wanna watch it, and then come back to the hair to start removing the pins as you see here. Once I remove all the curls, I'm gonna reach for the IGK First Class Dry Shampoo. I have Christina flip her hair over to shake out the curls, flip it back over, and I'll spray this dry shampoo in the roots. The hair looks a little crazy right now, <laughs> right? But just give it a second and you'll see the magic come together. As I mentioned earlier, this is the last product I use today in the hair. It's a heavy duty charcoal dry shampoo that soaks up any oil and allows for you to go even longer between washes. Now her hair was just cleaned. So you might ask, why would I use a dry shampoo on perfectly clean hair? 
And to answer that, I find it helps extend the longevity of the blowout. Of course, you could use hairspray to help hold the shape of the hair, but I don't want the hair to look or feel stiff for this look. I want her to be able to shake around the hair and run her hands through it. And I, and I like for it to have that lived in look, but still have a soft and polished vibe to it. Now look at this. This is my absolute favorite part of creating this hairstyle, brushing the hair out. Got a little wild looking for a second after flipping the hair over and shaking out the curls, but look how this all starts to come together. Brushing the hair together, getting the movement and getting everything to work together to create that beautiful shape we're going for. And you'll see here what I was talking about with taking my time with those front pieces. I'm loving how it just kind of frames the face and elevates this look. And this is also why I included all that footage of the blow drying. I know it was a little lengthy, I'm sorry about that, but I wanted you to see everything, including the final touches I put on the hair here for the outro shots. Because I do love watching hair tutorials, but there have been so many that I've seen that cut out so much of the styling process that when I blink, the hair's already done and I'm just like, what, <laughs> what just happened? You know what I'm saying? So again, I wanted to include everything in this tutorial so you can see without any hair extensions or any hair pieces, but with just some good quality hair products and techniques, how I created this soft, polished blowout look on our naturally beautiful model. have it kids i hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial if you did be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel you can also check out more of my work on my instagram at painted by spencer and until next time i'll see you soon